Yo, what up, what up? It's the Kiss EJ City. So we back with a brand new video today. We are going to be talking about some fragrances that are extremely hype but I honestly feel like they're worthy of all the hype, okay? You know, uh, previously I've been rolling out like this little series of fragrances that I feel like are just completely overhyped and overrated, all right? You guys seem to like those videos that I do, so I will continue doing some more, man. I don't mean to just, you know, poke fun or try to take stabs at your favorite fragrances, but I just gotta be honest and I just talk about fragrances that I just feel like are completely overhyped and overrated. I'm gonna continue that, but before I continue and come across as just like a hater who doesn't like anything, I want to give you guys some fragrances that are super hyped up, but I feel like they're worthy of being hyped because they're really, really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the number 10 fragrance on this list. And this is going to come from the house of Terry Mugler. And this one right here is going to be called Pure Havan. Okay, so this fragrance was talked a lot about previously, but it's starting to pick up a little life of its own here now you know, recently because a lot of people think this thing is getting discontinued. I don't have an official word if it's discontinued or if it's not. I just think people went on Terry Mugler website and this thing was just completely sold out. Discounters, they didn't carry them. So a lot of people were like, hey, what's going on with Pure Havana? Is it being discontinued? You know, a lot of people start reselling their models for like 80 bucks, 100 bucks or whatever. So things started to get, you know, super overhyped, you know, you know, especially recently, but I feel like it's worthy of the hype. It's a good fragrance, okay? A lot of people compare this to Zerzoff Naxos, and I will tell you that there are a lot of similarities, but I feel like they kind of, you know, go in different directions, all right? I feel like, you know, the Zerzoff Naxos fragrance is just a lot smoother. You know, I feel like that one kind of plays more on the honey and the lavender, and I honestly feel like this one kind of plays a little bit more with the tobacco, to be honest with you okay so you know you guys pretty you guys uh, are pretty familiar with this fragrance man if not basically in the opening you're getting like this nice fresh spicy type of combo man you know you're getting like this honey accord you're getting a nice tobacco accord you're getting cherry type of vibes in this fragrance right here really good stuff in my personal opinion i feel like it does kind of resemble uh naxos but it also resembles by killian you know, um, intoxicated. So kind of fuse those two fragrances together and that's what you got here, okay? But nonetheless, a good fragrance worthy of all the praise of all the hype that it gets. I really enjoy that, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the number nine fragrance on this list. And this is a new fragrance as well that's been picking up a lot of steam, getting a lot of hype. A lot of people might be like, are oh, you guys just hyping that fragrance? Is it really that good? It's really that good. That one's coming from the house of Killian, and this one is going to be called Angel Share, okay? So this thing is a really good fragrance. It's worthy of all of the praises, of all of the hype that it's getting right now. A lot of people are saying, hey man, if you got Wojan, then you don't need this fragrance. They're comparing it to all these other fragrances. I honestly, I, I can see why they would say that, but I just don't feel like it's super redundant to own this fragrance, all right? This is really good, and it's not bad, man. It's like 200 bucks for this fragrance right here, so it's a good deal. You know, this fragrance is beast, so you're only gonna be doing about two to three sprays, so you're definitely gonna get your money's worth as far as, you know, like wares and things of that nature, but the overall smell, beautiful stuff. Basically what you get in here is you get a nice boozy accord, man. It's like this boozy cognac type of vibe that you get in the opening here. That's accompanied by like this cinnamon type of vibe and you get like this sweet candied praline in here, man. I'm telling you, this is a really good fragrance worthy of all the hype. I definitely had to get me a bottle. I really, really enjoy that stuff, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list and uh, definitely worthy of the hype here. We're gonna go ahead and go to the house of Yi Saint Laurent, and this one is going to be called Tuxedo, okay? You know, I think uh, Cuba, Cuba Nose started hyping up this fragrance. A lot of people start getting behind this fragrance, and guess what? People are saying this thing is gonna be discontinued as well, so the hype is starting to have a little resurgence, man, and a lot of people are, are kinda getting behind this fragrance. They're, they're re-hyping this fragrance, but don't think that people are just talking about this fragrance, they're hyping it up for no reason, because this stuff is really, really good. And honestly, I have a lot of fragrances. I do a lot of reviews, but for some reason, this fragrance always kind of stumps me when I try to explain the smell, man. It's just something like, 
none other, man. I just really can't explain the true essence of the smell. You guys just have to go out there and you have to try it for yourself. But basically, you know, just to keep it simplistic, it's basically like this nice, spicy, fresh type of a core. And then you get like this floral, maybe like a rose or something like that. But I'm telling you, it's much more than what I, I explained there. That's just the umbrella of where this thing can fit under. But you just got to experience this fragrance and you got to see for yourself because it's really, really good. I'm telling you, worthy of all the hype that this thing is getting. Beautiful stuff, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance right here. And this one, a lot of people are probably gonna dispute me on this because it could be old, could be played out, whatever the case is, but I'm telling you, it's worth all of the hype that it, it once got. And I feel like people need to stop playing around and start incorporating this on their list. Stop being scared, all right? And this one is gonna come from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this one's gonna be called Ultramall. I don't know why people are so afraid to talk about this fragrance now. They just think that you're gonna be frowned upon. Oh, that thing is old, man. That thing is dated. That thing, everybody wears that fragrance. So what? Who cares? It's worthy of all of the praises that is that is getting, and it needs to continue continue getting those those praises because there are probably some people that are new and they probably are going to miss out on a good fragrance because people tend to not hype it anymore because they're going to they're going to look like the old head okay okay but I'm telling you this is good stuff right here beautiful beautiful fragrance worthy of all the hype that it previously got I feel like if people start hyping it up, it's still going to be worth all of the praises that people give it to this day. Because this is a good fragrance still right now, still lasting through the test of time. Beautiful stuff. Basically, you get like this sweet bubblegum accord in the opening, man. You know, um, you get like this nice little sweet pear. You get this cinnamon. You get this powdery type of dry down. Beautiful stuff, man. I really, really enjoy that fragrance. And it's definitely worth all of the hype, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance here. This is worth the hype. But I had to find out late in the game because I wasn't a believer at first. I'm like, man, everybody just hyping this fragrance for no reason. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm not even going to get sucked up on the hype train. But I'm telling you, once I experienced this fragrance, I knew I had to get a bottle. That one's coming from the house of Issy Miyake. And this one right here is going to be called Noir Amber. This right here, a lot of people started hyping this fragrance up. People were saying this was the best amber that they've ever experienced in their life. This was the greatest new fragrance from Issey Miyake, da da da. It was super limited, it was hard to find. People were charging like $200 a bottle for this. I'm like, yo, I'm good, man, I don't care. Y'all just hyping that anyway. I actually got a sample of this thing and I was like, yo, these people know what they're talking about. This is worthy of all of the hype, man. And I feel like they did a restock recently, right? So this thing, you know, just restocked out of nowhere. Maybe like four or five months ago, a lot of people got this fragrance. Some people didn't like the fragrance. They're selling it off. Some people just like, hey, man, I got it for the resale purpose. So they're starting to resell these bottles now. And you can find like a full bottle for like 100 bucks, $110 or something like that. And honestly, it is boosted up a little bit in price. They did do a little price hike on it, but it's going to be worthy of that price tag as well. This is really good stuff. Basically, you're getting a nice spicy accord in the opening you're getting a beautiful amber in this fragrance a little cinnamon type of accord and then i honestly feel like it kind of dries down into like a leather type of fragrance man so it just has like this amber leather sweetness going on man but ugh, i'm telling you beautiful stuff worthy of all of the hype that has ever gotten I'll still hype this fragrance, and even though it's overpriced, I still will go ahead and tell you, try to get your hands on that, because, man, it's really good, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list, and this one, starting to get a little bit of hype in the fragrance community. I don't really know how much hype it just has worldwide or anything like that, but it's a hype of fragrance, but it's worthy of all the hype. And this one's coming from the house of Les Ended Medables. I hate saying this name. I hope I, I said that right. But this one right here is going to be called Vani Havan, okay? A fragrance that a lot of people are starting to get behind. You know, the, uh, the hype train started to take off and I had to get a little sample of this and it actually turned into a full bottle for me because it's actually worth the hype. It's, it's worth the praises that people are giving this fragrance right here. And, you know, basically, I can describe the fragrance to you. I definitely could. But it's just better if I set the, the, the scene, all right? I paint the picture visually for you guys. So imagine you're at like this kind of high roller type of lounge in a casino or something like that, okay? You know, you got your poker table, you got your blackjack or something like that. You know, you're just in this high roller lounge and somebody brings you a glass of whiskey or a glass of, of, of rum or something like that 
that looks like this. They go ahead and set that on the table, all right? So you got that. You know, somebody brings you a little ashtray. They bring you a nice little cigar, something like that, man. You got the little smoke. It's still steaming, okay? So that's basically what you're getting in the, in the opening of the fragrance right there as well. And then also imagine somebody kind of brings you like a nice steaming hot cup of black coffee, okay? So that's basically what you're getting black coffee and then kind of like you know you have like this little plate you know just a nice little elegant white plate and you're garnishing that thing with some chocolates or something like that okay so that's basically the visual that i get when i actually wear this fragrance and this thing is really good all right of course you get a little bit of vanilla but it's more of like that authentic you know spice vanilla man if you guys go you know just google vanilla you'll see the spice vanilla that's basically what i get when i wear this fragrance beautiful stuff oh yeah i'm also getting a little dry fruits in here i don't really know if it's dry fruits in here but maybe like a dry cranberry or something like that but overall definitely worth the hype that this thing is getting a good fragrance the only thing about it is it's very pricey you know but um if you can find somebody you know maybe like a secondhand seller who who got it maybe wore it wants to sell it or something like that i feel like it would be worth it but uh nonetheless still a good good fragrance worthy of the hype as far as scent profile alone okay now let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance i'm ready man you know i know they coming for me man every time i talk about this fragrance they be coming from my head but hey man i'm always gonna talk about this fragrance because i like this fragrance and i don't care what people got to say man this one is coming from the house of versace and this one is going to be called arrows yes i said it i'm always gonna stand behind arrows i don't care what you guys think i don't care if you think it's it's everybody's wearing this fragrance why why would you want to wear this fragrance if you're a 30 year old man why would you wear this fragrance that thing is juvenile you know that thing is outdated man no man this thing right here is timeless man this thing smells good this thing is going to get you some compliments a lot of people hype this fragrance they was calling it the clubbing king along with this thing right here but i'm telling you this stands the test of time I really can't see many people disliking this fragrance. I can definitely see how people can maybe get played out, maybe get a little bored of this fragrance, but they were once in love with this fragrance and then kind of fell out of love. But I'm telling you, everybody, everybody who tries this fragrance, I guarantee you're going to love this fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Sweet, you know, uh, creamy vanilla in the opening. You get a little minty, you know, no. You get an apple accord. This is just beautiful stuff. I'm telling you, it's worthy of all of the hype, okay? Yeah, I know they coming from me, but who cares? I'm always going to stand behind that fragrance. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance that's definitely worthy of all the hype in my personal opinion. And this one is coming from the house of Mercedes-Benz. And this one is going to be called VIP Black. That's what I believe this one is called. But a lot of people hype up this fragrance. This was probably one of the best cheapies that people talked about. I think you used to be able to get this thing for like 40 bucks or something like that. Little price, you know, hike on this thing right here. I think you could get it for about 60 bucks now, but just pay the extra 20 bucks because it's worth it, I'm telling you. A lot of people talk about this fragrance. A lot of people hype up this fragrance, but it is a good fragrance. I think it's discontinued. That's mainly why it's being hyped up and things of that nature. And the fact that it was a cheapie, you could get a scent profile like this for a really good, you know, price. It's worth it, man. Don't, don't write it off just because everybody talks about this fragrance. And honestly, when you try this fragrance, it's not going to be anything new. You're definitely going to be like, yo, I smelled this somewhere, somehow, but I like it, man. And it's really good. And I'm telling you, really good stuff. Basically, you get like this tonka bean sweet type of vanilla fragrance with like this woody nature, a little ambroxan and stuff like that. Beautiful stuff, though. Really worth the money, worth all of the hype. I definitely got to stand behind that fragrance for sure, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move on to two fragrances that I know you've heard time, 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 and time again, but I got to give you the validation just briefly, real quick, because these fragrances are worthy of all the hype, and this one is going to come from the house of Yi Saint Laurent, and this one is going to be called Lana Wheat de Lome, okay? This one right here, I feel like probably put cardamom on the map, all right? You know, that, that fresh, spicy cardamom that you get in this you know that little bit of sweetness that you're getting in here that that seductive nature that you get with this fragrance just got to give you the validation this is worth all of the hype 
people are going to put it on their date, you know, night list. They're going to put it on their compliment list, things that women like or whatever the case is. I don't care what you put it on. You'll never hear no complaints from me because it's definitely worthy of all of the hype, all of the praises. Just had to throw this on the list because I feel like, you know, it just wouldn't be suiting if I left it off. All right. Now let's go ahead and move on to the number one fragrance that I feel like is worthy of all of the hype that it, this, this fragrance gets right here. And I'm saying that for a reason. This is coming from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, and this one is called The One. Of course, you've heard about this fragrance. Everybody's heard about this fragrance because this thing is hyped up crazy. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. This is literally the only fragrance that I would just buy as a gift for any man as a blind buy, okay? It doesn't matter. I'm that confident that they're gonna be head over heels and they're gonna love this fragrance, you know? I really don't think that it's one man walking the planet of the earth that would dislike this fragrance, bro. Like, if I'm just gonna buy a gift for somebody and they like some cologne, oh, I'll just, I'll grab them this, they gonna like it. I'm telling you, this is the only fragrance I would do that with. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Grapefruit, lemon opening, man. You get like this cardamom type of nature in here. You know, you get like a little fresh, spicy, you know, accord. I think there's ginger in here as well, you know, and then you just have like this overall mass appealing type of vibe, type of scent profile. I'm telling you, all right? So that's basically what I got from my hyped up fragrances that are worthy of all of the hype and all the praises that it's getting, man. But you guys already know what it is. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out until next time. I appreciate all the love. Peace.